afternoon students yesterday we started the first discussion of first chapter number 1 computer system now today we will continue with this chapter a uh, computer system we know that a uh, computer is an electronic device that receives input it says it according to the instruction given in the shape of softwares and give us output there is a one term given in your book in your syllabus also convergence of technology convergence of technologies means when two or more technology merge and then we received we uh, there is a another technology we receive a new technology this is convergence of technology so it is, you can say it's a merger merger of different uh, technologies so there are some major technologies which are being conver uh, converted to form a new converged technology includes the following okay so we have to pass this like okay, you can say it's an example there is a computer technology computer technology it's a itself a convergent technology because in this we are using electronic things up there there it is a uh, here is a processor we are using there a hardware system so it is a convergent technology communication technology ka bhi part hai isme net ho raha hai that theek hai so this is called computer technology second one is communication technology so it in, in communication uh, in uh, computer technologies we include hardware and software that that is a formation of com modern computer system so it in a hardware and software both we include so in a hardware these are uh, hardware parts and in software we include different the softwares so next is communication technology in communication technology it, we include all the uh, technology that are used for communication purpose clear so here we include uh, wireless and wifi media we include uh, internet we include emails we include mobile phone mobile devices we include radio technology we include satellite technology it means only the communication portion is there third one is ict ict stands for information and communication technology so it include in on um, one umbrella we include it and ct it means information technology and another one is communication so with the help of internet we are in, uh, using the uh, communication so in this it is a combination of uh, information technology and uh, communication technology next one is number 4 content technology so in this technology uh, we are dealing with the how the contents are driven from the feed such as print media television media means where materials content materials are available so here contents may be format of uh, 2d or 3d clear everything printing press newspapers everything is are come under content technology next one is so these are different technologies and examples of convergent technology so we are using it so there are some examples where convergent technologies are used 
for example there are smart tv so in one side smart tv is used for communication and in the other side we are using for communication technology so these are uh, here is a smart tv then there is voip voice over internet whenever you are making any voice chatting with the help of whatsapp or with in uh, with the help of facebook this come come under v, uh, voip in one side there is a communication and in another side we are using information technology then there are mobile tv again example uh, here is in, in mobile phone we are using internet as it is from internet we are using mobile phones uh, tv channels so these are different uh, examples of convergent technology so this is used in the telephones cameras gaming audio videos websites so everything is included so next is overview of communication technology so what the things we are including in communication technologies if there are some examples number 1 email so email stand for electronic messages so with the help of this we can send the electronic messages from one side to another side there is a sms these are called short message service so sms is a short message of near about once maximum 160 characters we send it to uh, from one device to another uh, device using telephone network there is a video conferencing and chat service so uh, in the case of your video conferencing there is a uh, uh, chatting with the help of uh, your video and the chatting service there are text chatting as well as video chatting so there it includes in communication technology there are blogs and wikis so we can uh, create blogs blogs are your uh, personalized uh, website it is a free of cost and you can post any message on the blogs and uh, after that you can receive the uh, comments on that blogs there is number 5 there is a micro blogging so micro blogging is a very very small uh, the uh, the the website in which very very small messages we can send just like a, uh, there is a twitter yeah. very very small but that's why it's called micro blogging so it is a instant messages that allow user to create short messages and number 6 is document and calendar sharing service so with the help of this we can schedule our uh, meeting schedule our uh, things with the help of calendar for example in the case of google calendar okay we can schedule our meetings so these are all about your communication technology so these are the different things we can include in your communication technology any doubt in this there are any doubt in this no sir okay beta
Uh, yesterday, we will also discuss that there are characteristics of a computer system, and uh, in the characteristics, we include uh, the strength and weaknesses of your computer system, and its strength. We include, we include number one, if high speed is there. Number two, there will be high storage. Number three, there is accuracy. Number four, there is reliability. And number five is versatility. So these are the strengths of a computer system. But when we discuss the weaknesses of your computer system, so there is no one is lack of system making. So computer is a machine, is a electronic machine. So it is not, uh, uh, it can't take decision. So lack of decision making is one of the big drawback of your computer system, IQ zero. So it has no any IQ, IQ is provided with your software. Third one is no heuristic. Heuristic means learn from the past experience, but as a computer, it never learns from the past experience. And last one is emotionless. The computer is a machine, it is a emotionless. It has no any emotion. Now, next topic. This is the last topic of chapter one. Types of computer. So we can categorize the computers on the basis of two different uh, categories, you can say, purpose-wise and second one is principle of operation-wise. In short, you can say purpose wise or operation wise. So, in a purpose wise, computers are special purpose and second one is general purpose. So, there are Two type of uh, computer on the basis of purpose wise, special purpose, uh, special purpose, and the uh, second one is general purpose. A computer that is for a particular task. For example, uh, your uh, computer, embedded computer in petrol pump machine, that is special purpose. Its work is to calculate the volume, okay, the quantity. And after that, calculate the bill amount. So this is called special purpose. Its purpose is only for petrol calculations. Okay. Second one is general purpose. In this type of computers, we can do any task. For example, computers in its computer labs or a computer at your home. All of these type of computers are general purpose computers. It means according to the uh, any type of work you can do in these computers you can listen music you can watch movies and uh, you can uh, draw something you can create documents next is principle of operation wise so according to the operation the computers are analog computers Then 
digital computers then there are hybrid computers so in analog computers it work on analog signal so analog signals having uh, has no any type of uh, limitation so sometimes it is very low sometimes it, it is very high so just like example is your telephone call sometimes voice is so slow sometimes so high so these are got analog signals so analog signals are in the case of your uh, uh, volume calculation weather uh, calculation we use analog computer तो यहाँ पे वॉल्यूम यूज होता है वॉल्यूम की कैलकुलेशन होती है तो वहां पे हम एनलॉग कंप्यूटर्स यूज करते हैं डिजिटल कंप्यूटर्स इन दिस टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटर वी आर यूजिंग डिजिटल सिग्नल्स देयर आर टू टाइप ऑफ डिजिटल सिग्नल्स जीरो एंड वन सो ऑल द प्रेजेंट टाइम वी कंप्यूटर्स आर डिजिटल कंप्यूटर एंड थर्ड टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स आर हाइब्रिड कंप्यूटर्स हाइब्रिड कंप्यूटर्स आर दोस कंप्यूटर दैट इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ एनलॉग एंड डिजिटल so it can work on analog signals it can also work on the basis of a digital signals so these type of computers are hybrid computers present time we are using hybrid computers because they can be used for digital purpose as well as for a hybrid purpose for example in uh, an atm machine there is a computer system that is used for a special purpose it uh, it is used for a your uh, uh, calculation or when you withdraw the money it calculates the currency clear so it is of uh, digital as well as analog it's a mixture of uh, both of these so that's why these are called hybrid computers so next is now different type of types of digital computer so now we are going to discuss different types of digital computer so we know that the digital computers are computer in which we use digital signals zero and one why zero and one because there is electricity on electricity off so there are only two signals Zero and one only binding signals are there. Do you have any doubt here? No, sir. Okay. Now, in this, first we include embedded computers. so embedded computers are those computers which are placed inside a device for example uh, a computer in uh, any petrol pump machine or computers in any atm so these are embedded computer a computer that is uh, there is a, you can say there is a very small chip that is uh, in Uh, pasted inside the machine so that's what, that is uh, that is why it's called embedded computers for example your microwave your refrigerator your smart tv all of these and it's small chip inside it and according to that there is a program is saved and according to the program uh, your device is following that uh, that uh, that uh, program for example in the case of your oven the temperature and uh, the operation uh, method everything is properly programmed now next type is number 2 is microcomputer and uh, personal computers personal computer means pc okay 
So in this type of computers, we are as a user, you, we are using them. Okay, as a normal user. So it has a microprocessor. Embedded computers, what will happen that you have a switch chip in the future? ठीक है पर माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स और पर्सनल कंप्यूटर में क्या होगा प्रोसेसर होगा ठीक है प्रोसेसर विल बी देयर तो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ माइक्रो और पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स नंबर वन देर आर मोबाइल फोन्स मोबाइल और हैंडहेल्ड कंप्यूटर्स तो कंप्यूटर यू कैन टेक इन योर हैंड इज कॉल्ड मोबाइल और हैंडहेल्ड कंप्यूटर्स तो जस्ट लाइक ए स्मार्टफोन ओके इन ए स्मार्टफोन देर इज जस्ट लाइक बिहेव जस्ट लाइक ए कंप्यूटर Next is portable. Portable computers means the computer which we can carry. We can carry it from one side to another side. For example, your laptops. There is a PDA. PDA stands for personal digital assistant. Okay. So these type of computers, notebook, laptop, your PDAs are example of a portable. Computers, portable PCs. Then next is desktop PCs. In desktop PCs, we there is a very uh, big size computer system. There are different parts of that computer system. We can carry it to any desk. We can't carry it from one side to another side. There is a one cabinet. There is a monitor is there. CPU is there. Then UPS is there. Mouse, keyboard. So different uh, devices are attached with that. So these are called desktop computers. Next is workstation. So workstations are just like a desktop computer, but its processing is fast. As compared with desktop, its processor is fine. Its hard disk is more than desktop computers. So these are called workstation. So these having a greater memory and greater mathematical ability. Oh, mathematical calculation ability. So these this is called workstation. So in micro computers or personal computers, we include mobile or handheld computers, portable computers. Uh, then desktop computers and uh, work stations. Next, mini computer. Remember one thing: uh, the work stations are used by med medium scale companies, small scale companies, or medium scale companies. But when the uh, organization of companies Big. In that case, that company can use mid-range servers. It is these are also called mid-range server. Its processing power is more as compared with the normal computer, and uh, its uh, uh, processing power as well as its storage is more as compared with the uh, workstations. Okay. And simultaneously, it can provide services to different users. So these are multi-user. Otherwise, workstation and desktop and portable computer, and mobile mobile uh, computers. These are single user. But in a mini computer, it provides services to number of users. So examples are UDP eleven. Remember the name. Vax seventy five hundred Magnum. These are the examples of mini computers. 
Number four. Mainframe computer. So in a mainframe computer, its processing and storage is more than mini computer. It also provides uh, services to number of users, but the numbers are more than mini computers. Okay. So uh, in this, these are also used by the big organizations. And here, examples are ICL 39, CDC 6600. These are the product name, WAX 8842. IBM, IBM stands for International Business Machine, 3090 600. Then IBM 4381. So these are some examples of mainframe computers. But after that, there is a very, very expensive as well as very high speed computers. These are called supercomputers. So supercomputers are computers having a very large uh, storage and processing power. And uh, uh, these are not used by the big organization, but these are used by government, okay? For uh, their weather forecasting, for defense, these are used. An example of supercomputers are Cray, X, MP, 14, CD, C, 205, EPA, CF10, so remember these names. Param is a computer, uh, supercomputer created in India. Sponsorship was of uh, Government of India. Peace. So these are different uh, supercomputers. And so supercomputers are sponsored by the government sector. Okay. So it has its ability is equal to near about 40,000 mini uh, microcomputers. Okay, 40, near about 40,000 computers. So these are different uh, supercomputers. So on the basis of uh, uh, your digital computer, these are embedded computers, these are mini computers, mainframe computers, supercomputers, and according to the processing power, the supercomputer is in number one. After that, there, there is mainframe computer, then mini computer, then microcomputer, and at the end, there is embedded computers. So, in your uh, question paper, there are some questions like uh, uh, make them, arrange them according to the in ascending order of their storage and power. So, for example, there are some names are given. So, whenever you will arrange them in ascending order of their processing power, means least powerful first. In that case, you will take embedded computer first. 
then you will take then you will take the micro computer your personal computer then we take mini computer then main frame then super computer but when the question is arrange them according to uh, in the descending order of processing power or storage in that case we will take super computer and then main frame computer then mini computer and then embedded computer so this is the way to give the answer of such type of questions so if you have any doubt raise your hands with us 